So why are we learning about visual management and why is it so important to communicate in a visual way? Well, these are questions that will be answered within this module. This is one of the more fun, less technical modules, so I hope you enjoy it. Visual management and the act of making problems easily visible are recurring themes within Lean. Lean aims to make problems instantly visible and 5S, standards, spaghetti diagrams and other tools aim to effectively convey as much information in as little time as possible. Visual management complements many Lean principles like the idea of going to Gemba and grasping the situation and it acts as a great way to help managers and operators communicate with a common language and goal. This module will provide an overview of visual management and explain its importance throughout Lean. If you're going to learn one thing in this module, it should be that visual management aids in decision making by making problems visible. Visual management is all about helping to read your environment. In Australia, an Aboriginal police tracker, Barry Port, could do exactly this, but on a much larger scale. He was said to be able to read the ground like a storybook, quickly spotting any irregularities. Working for the police force, he was able to easily track down people with such speed and ease that people first believed it was magic. Let's start by watching a quick video clip that explains how Aboriginal trackers carry out their work. Can you, you see something? No, there's nothing. Huh? What about there? What about there? Far there. As I see, Owens is a lekker than 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 gesels is met hulle en ons praat met hulle en ons help hulle verstaan. As ek en as ek sien daar is iemand wat agter is wat nou nie so lekker vinnig is, dan vat ek hom spesifiek uit en as hy in enig iets of spore of in volg dan 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 gaan die helper kom dan dan leer ek vir hom die fyner goetjies dan de de by die tree de de by die tree wat wat happen daar dat ek verstaan presies wat wat ek wil hê van hom verstaan het fres ja ja jy sien jy so Je kan net zien die die rok die 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 klippen wat zo bieke beweegt en zo en zo, maar je kan dan nou nou en dan kan je daar maar spoorkies zien wat zo wat zo even bieke shine en zo dan en dat helpt ons en dan zien je soms die posies wat zo plat ook is nou en dan en dan dat helpt ons om 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 op die spoor te blijven. Het gaat een beetje beter en beter, hè? Je moet maar net je sporen kijken voor het kalm, hè? En ik ga naar mijn voetpijkje duren, ik denk ik en hier en de bossen. De other side, the black rhino was taking a short break, lying down here. Then he moved upwards in the ticket to get. It's getting closer now to the rhino, so they must be somewhere here in the thicket, so maybe lay down here. So they was coming, they was going here down, and I will see where they was. Laying down there, on the other side there. Maybe it was just like behind that bushes there. That's why I will not I must go in there because it's too thick. It's better to go in an open place where you can see. So my eyes gone now. Yeah, we have a black rhinos down, still fresh, and where you can see so mark his territory. A sergeant of the police department working for his first time with Barry recalls a funny story. Barry was said to have looked at a pile of dirt and come to an extremely detailed conclusion about what a getaway driver was doing, what he was thinking, his height and weight, how fast he was travelling and in what direction he headed off in. 
The sergeant laughed and said, I'm looking at this big pile of dirt and wondering, how on earth can this man know all of this? Not quite believing what Barry had told him. Later on, an eyewitness who saw the getaway vehicle came forward and described the man exactly matching what Barry had predicted. And from that day on, anything Barry predicted was taken as the truth. The lesson of this story is, just like the Aboriginal trackers and their amazing ability to identify abnormalities, with the help of visual management, we can all enable our operators to be this good at picking up on any small changes in their work environment. The mentality of visual management should be, if I can see it, I can fix it, and if I can't see it, I can't fix it. By having effective visual management in place, we can help prevent problems from occurring in the first place by making early indicators of the problems visible. In a manufacturing environment, visual management can be used in many different ways and within many different tools. For example, visual standards used in 5S allow you to compare what an environment should look like with what it does look like, enabling you to pick up on hazards like an oil spill before they escalate into an injury. Other visual management aids could be visual floor markings that show when an item is missing, like the pump truck in this case. But why is the visual aspect of visual management in particular so powerful? The answer to that is all to do with how the human brain works. One scientific study found that after three days, a user retained only 10-20% to of written or spoken information, but almost 65% of visual information. Our brain primarily uses the visual cortex to receive, integrate and process visual information relayed from our retinas. This extremely efficient process allows us to recognise images in just 13 milliseconds and enables us to quickly interpret patterns and graphs. Visuals are processed 60,000 times faster in the brain than text. The reason us humans are so receptive to visual stimulus all stems from the way our brain is hardwired. Visual communication is the most effective means of all communication, so much so that it can actually override our senses and change the way we interpret something. Let's do a quick exercise to demonstrate this. For example, listen to Greg speaking. Bar, 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 What do you bar? hear? If you hear bar, 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 you would be right. But how about now? Bar, 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 bar. Chances are you heard far, far, far this time with an F. Instead you didn't. In fact, the audio didn't even change between the two videos. Bar, bar, bar. Strange as it may seem, what you actually heard depends on which video you're looking at. Have a go, try looking at each video and see how it bar. sounds. This is a perfect video bar, to understand how bar, powerful visual bar, learning and interpretation bar, is, overriding some bar, of the other senses. Bar, bar. Different forms of visual management have been around for a very long time. The first ever traffic signals were introduced in London 150 years ago and have now become a part of everyday life. So much so that it becomes intuitive and hardwired into our thinking, a paradigm that we have adopted. We all associate red with stop and something negative, and green with go and a positive outcome. The three benefits of effective visual management can be summarised. Firstly, it helps in preventing or at least identifying problems. Secondly, as the brain is so well designed to deal with visual information, it's the most effective means of communication. And thirdly, visual management helps avoid miscommunication between team members. This is a problem that can quickly exaggerate the larger the team becomes. Let's imagine we have a team with three people. There are only three paths of communication, meaning it is easy to avoid miscommunication. As the number of people in each team increases, the number of paths of communication increases even more. A team of 12 has 66 paths of communication, also leading to a much greater chance of miscommunication. In order to help overcome this risk, visual management helps ensure everyone understands things the same way. For example, if you visit Sweden, 
but didn't speak Swedish, would you understand this traffic sign? How about now? Even if someone can't read or understand a language, they can read good visual management and the chance of miscommunication is greatly reduced. This is why it's so important that standards, especially safety standards, are visual. These three benefits are exactly why visual management is so important. Now we understand that, let's finish by looking at some examples of good and bad visual management. Visual doesn't necessarily mean effective. Look at these examples to demonstrate this. If you were a driver deciding which lane to be in, how quickly and effectively would you be able to navigate this junction? Also, if your team were tracking their daily performance and used a graph like this, how effective is it engaging with the team and spotting improvements? Comparing it to something like this, you can quickly see what days were below the target and easily paint a picture of the team's performance throughout the month of September. Visual management helps prevent, or at the very least, identify problems. Visual management is the most effective means of communication and avoids miscommunication. Throughout the course, when we get onto more of the lean tools, you will find these three benefits of visual management everywhere. Things like 5S uses red tags and floor markings for exactly these reasons. In the next module, we'll be discussing spaghetti diagrams, a really visual tool that help identify and paint a picture of transport and motion waste.